everybody welcome back to artisan valley um this is my modded playthrough series where i can only sell things with the artisan goods little tag on them uh yeah so let's just hop into it we've got the wizard's birthday and the festival tonight um if you watched my last episode some of my mods weren't working so i've tried to make them work with got the um, UI Suite mod back installed as you can see there um, so hopefully got a new hammer and want to try it on priorities middle could you smell me an iron for it and bring it to me um, hopefully that means these things are working again we had some machines that were like oh we don't have like this machine still not working so I'm guessing that's just not going to ever work but we had some items that didn't exist anymore so hopefully those are back to existing and whatnot we've got we can now know when things are going to be done which is fun we love that this is the geodes we brought one of these ginseng seeds which i'm going to plant yeah see so this is the one that says you need to ship it slash whether it's been to the community center or not so that's what I was missing. I'm pointing at my screen like you can see. Um, that's what I was missing before so I'm glad that that's back. I also decided that we should get some money to buy the large chest upgrade because I think that would be real nice. That would be lovely to have. I'm gonna chuck those in there to hopefully go through the trash. Um, can I chuck the glow ring on for now because we I don't know if we're going to go to the mines today we're definitely going fishing because there's a few separate few different types of fish we need to collect if we've got any seeds I might go plant these in the greenhouse see this is the other thing that this mod has it tells me what animals actually need like milking and whatnot oh my goodness which is really nice it's really good to have i love that too so having the ui sweet mod is great why is it giving so many what is happening this 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 is there something is broken here i should not be getting so many of those the multi-crop thing is broken i don't know how to fix it though What should we give the wizard for his birthday? The other thing that I like about this mod is like I can accept quests here so I can get I can accept that and I can just like from my farm find the stuff I need. A child frenzy has begun in the mountains. Well I guess we're gonna go there and see what that is. But yeah there's something wrong here. I should not be getting nearly 200 every time I pick a crop that has more than one. I don't know how to fix that though like I'm guessing that's probably a bug because what am I going to do with that many roses they don't do anything <laughs> I don't need that many wow look at that that's cool I wish it was a bit more higher quality than a chub because I don't know what I'm going to do with all these chubs, but I guess that's fine. Probably just a good way to level up your fishing. Are there other spots that are spawns in, or is this just the only one? Just the one spot. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Look at the beer. I'm not afraid of the talking animals, apparently. Oh, interesting. I wish once you'd done it once he stayed there so you could give him 
you could give it to a mole. You could bring light maple syrup to him all the time. Oh! Okay, he has a house! He lives near the abandoned vineyard! Wow, that's cool! So I can bring him more maple syrup! I was just saying I wish I could. Woo! I don't really want to be here. I've got other things to do. But also, we need slime. So it's probably worth just doing a quick run around and slaying some slimes. Don't you go anywhere! Happy birthday! I can't use the teleporter. That's fine. I didn't want to anyway. I guess I'll just run. Are you gonna leave? I have stuff to give you. That's too late to be at someone's house. Hey, wait. I was giving you a mushroom. Wait. What? No. Okay, it counted. That was scary. Let's chuck it, jump in here real quick, do this. I can't skip it. I do love everyone's new winter outfit. I haven't talked about it, but I did talk about it on the live stream, so I already know about it. But I do love them. They're so cool. Like, just having the idea that, like, they actually have to bundle up and stuff, that's so cool. But now I look weird because I have a short sleeve top on in the middle of winter. I like that this cutscene for some reason is unskippable. But yeah, I do I do appreciate that they do now experience the cold. Are you going you're going to the salon? Here's an eye bar. It's be like, I didn't ask for this. Why don't you give this to me? Alright. Pale ale, beets in the fridge. Then we need to fish. I already have used your machine, Mr. Lewis. I'm sorry. Your fridge has changed. I don't know if I like it. What I could do- oh, no. I was gonna be like, because we got Pia's produce one, right? Carrots- Maybe I should have brought parsnips, because they only take seven days, and I could have got- it could have had a lot of- could have planted 25, and I'm sure I've got 25 vegetables floating around. But now we're into the fall. What's the fall produce that is super quick? People here that let nothing of helpfulness. Bok choy? Is it bok choy? Four days to mature. Is it a vegetable? I think so. What we're going to do is we're going to buy 25 of these. Lied. We're going to buy 50. And we're going to hope we're going to plant in the green, the, 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 not the greenhouse building. We need to catch three perch, which we might see if we can finish today. And then I, we need to get these skills up and then the fishing, which is the worst one. I just don't want to fish because there's no, like I get almost nothing from fishing. But I do need to make, I do want to make the dehydrators the new ones. Um to try and get just to use up the fish that I do have <laughs> try and get through some of those fish so I guess we do we do a bunch of fishing to try and get the jellies that we need for that I think having that the the fish smoker the the new one that came out with the Stardew Valley update I think that will increase our money 
input by a lot. And I think we need that. Also, does the fish selling for 25% more count? Why is my foraging going? I'm lying in bed. I don't need to watch the TV anymore because I've got this thing. Mayor Lewis taught me how to make tea. And algae soup. Teach you some basic magic for me and my chambers at your earliest convenience. Oh, we can learn some magic. Oh yeah, the feast of the winter star! Jody. Shh, secret, don't tell anyone. A pumpkin's ready. But see, when I harvest the coffee, it's fine. Oh no. The salberries are not. Neither are the ancient ferns. Like, I just don't understand. Why is it so wild? Is it because it's with weeds? Is that why? What is the with weeds part? Oh, it must just be the ground, the with weeds. Because I guess if you don't put anything down, it just says it's with weeds. Because when I put down the basic fertilizer, it takes the with weeds away and puts basic fertilizer instead. Interesting. Um, we have 13 left, but we have no spaces. Let's leave those for now because they only take four days. So if they're done and I don't get enough, then I'll plant these other ones. See, because now there's this new thing. Sturdy edible fern branch that once flourished. Where's our let's keep one of everything? One of you. One of you. What do we need to do? Two more perch. More quality vegetables. Sand dragon. Okay, let's get Pam drunk. And then let's go to the desert. And while we're there, let's give Sandy a rose because we have so many of them and I want to give her a starred one. And I guess we could jump into Scale Caverns for a minute if we wanted to. For the bus driver. Now please take me to the desert. All right, you sell new Joja. A perfectly sealed can from decades ago, so how is it new? Strawberry grapefruit tea. Ooh. With hints of coconut and lemon, this tea will make you wish you were on vacation. That looks pretty cool. Papaya sapling, dragon fruit sapling, plantain date. I think I brought. I think I brought a plantain sapling last. I was last time I was here, if I remember correctly. I do want to build a nice orchard full of all the types of trees. I just think it might take me ages to get <laughs> all the stuff I need. Now let's try and find the sand dragon because I do remember this is quite huge. I'm pretty sure the sand dragon wants this. Oh no, did I bring the wrong thing? Oh no, there we go. What you do? I want to know what you do. Also, why did I not think of that before I came? <laughs> oh, in the middle of the desert. And there's the mermaid show one. One day too late. Prismatic shard. I need that. Okay. You know what? Not bad, actually. Actually, not bad. We got 14 iridium, a prismatic shard, and iridium bar, and then a whole bunch of other resources. Like, that was actually very successful for being a uh, bad luck day, <laughs> which is crazy. Am 
Why did I stop getting these flowers? You guys want to see something kind of cursed? <laughs> Look at my inefficiency of these scarecrows. Look at them. Hey, but they look pretty. First box, what do we get? Flowers. Oh no, we don't have enough money. We're just short. Let's do it this way. Let's go Marlin. Then we'll go traveling cart. And then we'll go to the wizard. Because he had that note about coming to see him in his abode. And then we'll go fishing. If we have time. Are you inside it? Damn it! I'm gonna go fish in the cave for an hour. Ooh! Cave jelly! Yes, let's go! Now we just need sea jelly. Happy birthday! Ooh. Drink this and weaker monsters will avoid you. Wow. Well, that's cool. Yay! I don't know what this means, but we've got more friendship with them. Come join me, line. Do you have a rusty old key for me? Line, here is something I've been meaning to show you. It's time you meet Krobus. They are a shadow person I've been hiding in, Pelican in the Pelican Town sewers. Ooh. Come, let's head into town. Why did you bring me to your boat to do that? I thought it was going to take me on the boat, actually. Let me unlock this first. So it's a wrong lock. Let's go. Alright, watch your step. Corbus, I have someone here I'd like you to meet. Probus, meet Lion, our newest guild member. Pleasure to meet you. Aww. You're a friend of Marlin's. You're safe to be around? Probus has had bad experience with humans. I stumbled into them during... I stumbled into them during a mission many years ago. Unlike other shadow people, Krobus speaks our language and is friendly. It's unprecedented. Unpre Predin, predin. Adventurers often stab first and ask questions later. Shielding Krobus from them was imperative. Magnus and I arranged a temporary home in service. I'm grateful to them. They treat me nicely, like I'm a person. Aww. Lion, if anyone in town saw Krobus, they would notify the order. We would be ta they would be taken away. You must keep what you've seen here secret. Let us return to the guild. I have something to give you. It's nice to meet you. We'll be taking our leave, Krobus. It's been a pleasure as always. You'll be seeing Lion again soon. You've proven your trust to me. This is a key to the sewers. Until now, only Magnus, Gill, and I have had a copy. Now you do too. You should speak to Krobus. They seem fond of you. And don't forget, they're to remain a secret. Yes, sir. 
I won't walk into the sewers while everybody else is watching. Do you think those plants are decoration or do you think they're useful? Oh, he probably uses them in things, right? Hmm. I'm gathering herbs for your elixir. See how there you go. Hehe, <laughs> have no fear, lion. You have my assurance that it won't be as harsh as the first one you drank. Come, join me at the cauldron. One final touch. The elixir is complete. With this, you can begin accumulating mana from the world around you, allowing you to cast some mining magic. Here, drink up. I just drink stuff that this guy gives me. Obviously, we're kind of friends, but like, it just, that doesn't, it tastes like cotton candy. It's just like the fact that you just be like, okay, I trust you. Like, he could poison us and we could die. Good. Now, when you're ready, join me downstairs in my study. First, a demonstration. What do I mean? I don't know what he's trying to do. Is it working? Now, you try. <laughs> Whoa, I see. I changed into. Wait, am I a boy? Ah, on your first attempt, no less marvellous. Wait, hang on. I think I'm a boy. <laughs> if your aptitude is as high as it seems, you may even explore some higher theory about the governing laws that bind our world. Uh -oh. I thought I was a... I think this is the second time I've made myself a boy by accident. Glad to see the prospect excites you. I can now use the Shrine of Illusions. How do I use it? I want to use it. How do I do it? How do I use the Shrine of Illusions? Do I just go stand in front of it? Oh, I still have to make it an offering. No, okay, I am female. Oh, but I just paid it money, so... Now I better use it for something. Oh yeah, let's put some sunglasses on. I did absolutely nothing. I spent all that money on nothing. Alright, two perch, that's all we need. And then we'll go fishing in the river, the sea, and try to get some sea jellies, and then we can finally build the smoker. Do you think if I walked into the saloon with my own alcohol and started drinking it there, Gus would be annoyed? Because technically, in other establishments, you're not meant to bring your own alcohol to it, generally. There's some that do let you, and there's some that tell you you have to if you want, like to bring your own. But generally, if you go into like a pub or something and you take outside alcohol, they don't let you in. So if I took outside alcohol into the pub, would I get in trouble? Sorry, Mayor Lewis, just coming into your house. Don't be doing anything suspicious. Peach sapling. I kind of thought it would be a pomegranate, and that's kind of what I wanted. That's fine. I guess a peach is fine. One sea jelly, please, and then we would have one of each, and we can finally make a dehydrator. I would throw away all of my sap for a sea jelly. Oh, would you look at that? I used to last my bait. Now I have an inventory space. Now, can we connect you to here? What is it? How do I how do I work it? Ah, it's working. Okay, it does take coal, which is slightly unfortunate, but I'm fairly certain. Just gonna do it quick, but I'm fairly certain. Yeah, it's way quicker. So if we could get a bunch of those, we'd be pretty good. 
And unfortunately, that's the end of the episode. You know what, actually, let's make this one five long. So we can have the last one, which was three, and this one, which was five, and we can compare the two and we can decide which one we like better. So I'm gonna do it two more days because, oh, it's Elon's birthday, because I'm enjoying it and I wanna keep playing. Maybe you should stay home today. Oh no. How many days do you take? Seven, it's the 20th, so we can plant you. Oh no. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna have like a million mint. Oh, they count as vegetables. Oh, they're herbs. They count as vegetables, though. Oh my gosh, that's too many mint. Imagine how many potatoes I'm going to get if I plant one potato. Like if I fill my field with potatoes, I'm going to end up with a million potatoes. I'm going to go to Robin's today and I'm going to buy a coop upgrade. The tool upgrade can wait. I'm going to buy a coop upgrade because I don't want that to happen again because that's just sad. That makes me sad. My chests are too full! I'm sorry to anybody watching that is absolutely disgusted with what I've done. Okay, what else do we need to do? Inspect the lumber pile beside your house. I can do that. Ta-da! What is Haley doing in your house? When does she come in here? Happy birthday! Hello! Since when did I would say good morning? She was in your house. You guys are probably canoodling or something. Ah, uh, the tomato fruit debacle. Construct farm buildings. It is all of our money, but then we don't have to worry about accidentally forgetting the animals again. A well that pumps fresh water from underground reserves walks automatically. Ah! I'm not quite sure what I would do with that, but interesting. What cutscene is this? Oh, the Elliot one. I think. Yeah, I don't want to watch that. I should probably like read what they have to say to see if sometimes it's different. Sometimes I see flashy lights coming from the Withers Tower and I wonder what's doing there. Um, I don't know if you want to know. Does that finish this bundle? Does that finish this one? No, it doesn't. I still need a fruit. Cheese birds, we need another one of those. I need a fruit. Oh no, I need two fruit or a cloth or a truffle oil. Okay. That's still next season, regardless of anything. Because even if I plant this fruit tree now, it still takes a year. Should we go check out the bear? Maybe tomorrow we'll go check out the bear. We'll take some maple syrup with us to see if he wants that. Like maybe we can friend him by giving him maple syrup. Let's go to check out the bear tomorrow. I don't think we have any like pressing matters that need to happen. Now the moment of truth is how many fish has it gone through from the time that it's been running for a day? It sounds like it's gone through a lot. It's because it only takes like an hour. Wow, would you look at that? That's crazy. Why did we not have this before? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, now we can actually make some money from the fish. Yeah, because it says artisan good on it. Yes. We're just going to run out of coal instead. Because there's only four coal left. We don't need a hundred of wood in there. Not anymore. I think I'm going to put this in our orchard instead of inside. Because I think it's a spring one. 
Why not summer? That's fine. Wow, fruit! Grapefruit? Persimmon. Vanilla tree, plantain tree, persimmon, fragrant. What season are you? Out of season, spring. How much money do you think we're going to make tonight? I think it's going to be quite a decent amount. It's definitely going to be better than what it has been. We definitely need to make more kegs. I think we need to we need to go on a big chop down all the trees. <laughs> okay, it's not as much as I anticipated, but this still gave us a lot. If we if you if we get through all that bit, like either either way smoked, because you can smoke in both ways, that would that would give us a decent amount. Wow, there's so many things going on today. Pumpkin pie, snow, merchant, robin, luck, battle. Pumpkin pie. We're gonna have to start making some of these. There's so many. I wonder if Marnie knows that her field has dead plants in it. I wonder if she's intentionally leaving them there till the next season. Don't mind me, I'm deforesting the forest, but they'll be back by next season, I'm sure. Bell trees have 5% chance to yield double wood. Okay. We need more wood, so yes please. Alright, now where is the bear with? He said by here, but where? Okay, maybe. Oh, nice! You can buy honey, maple syrup, a baked berry omelette recipe, and a flour cookie. Ah, oh, so he sells things. He's not a friend I can make. That's a bit sad. But that's okay. That's cool. I do like that. It is kind of difficult to get up here. I wish it wasn't pine trees that were always everywhere. Like, why can't it be the oak resin trees? So I can get heaps of oak resin. Can we get level 10? I reckon we can. It is possible. I just don't know if we're gonna like run out of time. Like, the number of trees isn't an issue. Yeah, we did it! But I think we will give... Instead of our pickaxe an upgrade tomorrow, I think we're going to give our axe an upgrade. Because so I think it'll be better to get... Because if I just could come here and chop down all these trees, super duper easy peasy, um, then, like, then we can sell all our fish, so then I can go fishing. Cause it and then I can make money. So I think an axe upgrade will be worth it. Close, so close. At least that shouldn't cost me money. Highest quality. The good thing about this now is everything I pick up will always have the same quality. Which means now my chests might actually be able to sort themselves a little bit because there won't be three of each type. Booksellers in. Maybe we buy some books. Come speak to me on the job. I drive the truck. Okay. Might have to get a like separate little... Uh, why is there a chair in the ground? Seven days, yeah. So they're not going to be ready, but that's fine. That'll just keep the land tilled for spring with apparently the bazillion potatoes we're going to be able to get. I'm sad that my dehydrators have stopped working. I don't really know what to do with the fact that they aren't working anymore. I don't, like, I don't know what mod they came from to really know what mod to look at to figure out why they're not working anymore. If you get what I mean. Uh, upgrade tool. We want to go copper axe. 
Thank you. Yeah, keep trying to check your shop, but you don't actually sell anything. Ghost or... I can never do any of these. No matter which one I choose, I can never do. Let's do the ghost, because I think that one's kind of easier. I never can find the slime. <laughs> Andy, this is a new cutscene then. Hey there, Susan. Oh, Andy, I don't see you that often at PS. Oh, no. Jojo has a lot of good, cheap stuff, but they don't carry my favourite jerky. Speaking of which, mind grabbing your bag there for me? Sure. Too lazy to grab his own jerky, but okay. Thank you kindly. Ain't nothing beats this here, this br here brand. Hi guys. Hi sweetie, buying supplies today? Yeah, P always has what I need. Why do I feel like something bad's about to happen? Ah, Lion is here too. Hello, I'm here. Seems like everybody's here. Don't forget me! Haha, <laughs> would you look at that? All the farms of Stardew Valley right here. Yay us! Oh, that's cute. That's cute. It's not what I expected at all. Alright, give me this machine. Give me this. Where is it? Do you sell it? Or does Robin sell it? I thought you sold it. Who sells a dehydrator? Um, so Pia does sell it. Why is it not here? I guess we're not buying the dehydrator. That's a bit sad. Or we could go to the mines. Oh, I see the pelican statue's gone over here now. Well, that's cool that they didn't complete the bookseller. It's cool that they didn't completely get rid of it. I am sad that it's not over here because it was it was cool over here, but that's fine. Like obviously the bookseller got put there, so the people who did Stardew Valley expanded obviously had to find another place. Oh, you can trade in books. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that for some reason. Combat experience, fishing experience, run a bit faster. Faster than riding a horse, faster through grass and crops. And you can see the value of items. The problem is I have the mod installed, so this book is never going to be helpful for me, but it is required to get all of them. Run a bit faster could be nice. Problem is it's going to use all my money. I like that they only offer me the ones I actually need experience on. So I'm going to take the fishing one because it's kind of cheaper. And you know, it doesn't actually give you that much fishing experience. I think it's said 250. Oh well, that's 250 closer to completing the fishing than I was before. I might keep coming back to 66 if it's an invested floor. So I might leave and just keep coming back and resetting 66. I forgot that boys in this floor, you, you can never see what floor level I'm on. A witch is at. That's cool. I'm going to put it on actually. I'm going to pass out on the bus. Bay. Oh, pass out on the farm. That's a little bit better. Well, what a way to spend the last couple days. I'm like, let's play two more days and then spend one day cutting down trees and one day in the mines. Well, Leah's birthday. Let's try and remember that for next time. Well, there we have it. Another day, another dollar. 
I'm making heaps of money now, which is great. I'm actually making money, and so that's exciting. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, wherever it may be for you, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!